what the packaging industry does to support the food industry kind of evolve hand in hand. People think about the, the package and they see plastic and think, well, how sustainable is that? The package is there to preserve the food and the kind of energy that goes into growing that food, to making the fertilizers that are used to grow that food, to the transport of the food from the fields, that far outweighs the energy and the CO2 footprint associated with the package. The estimates that we've seen around food wastage is that worldwide today, about 30% of the food grown is lost due to spoilage, essentially. Packaging technology can really help reduce that waste. There's also advancements in technology that can allow the control of things like ripeness, the control of spoilage. You actually end up with a higher percentage of that food moving through the supply chain to the grocery store. The history goes, you know, we saw things in paper bags, we saw things in glass, we saw things in, in cans. What's evolved over maybe the past uh, 20 years or so, more goods moving to flexible packaging. So if you go to the grocery store where you might have seen salsa in, in a glass jar, you're now seeing it in what's called a stand-up pouch. The plastic package is lighter weight, so it costs less to transport, it costs less to make, and is more sustainable because there's less energy that goes into making that package than making the equivalent glass package. A great example of a more complex package would be a tuna fish pouch. What a packaging designer will do is they will design that package with different layers that will provide different functions. Uh, I, I really believe that packaging, though it's a small and um, maybe not frequently noticed part of uh, our lives every day. It, it enables a lot of aspects of our, of our lifestyle that we essentially take for, for granted.